Good afternoon. Here's uh, Peter Buckman taking the book of James out of the uh, correct view that is written to early Christians who are Jews. You can go to Scofield and look for that. But he fouled up James too. That's why he's all, that's why he wants to take the book of James out of uh, and put out of Christians and put it to the Jews because he thinks the Jews uh, want uh, didn't have eternal security. So he doesn't know what James two he deal, deal with James two and deal with uh, Abraham being justified. Uh, by works, and he says, "Well, that's not yoga. You're not justified by works." Of course, James two is talking about justified by works before men. But it's how fouled up Buckman is. We'll be dealing a lot more with this dispensational issue. I just came across this. The twelve tribes, the Jew, the uh, Christian, every Christian church, which was Jewish, was being dispersed. They had a, they had uh, persecution came upon uh, the, uh, Jerusalem. And they were dispersed. And James is writing to the 12 tribes. Dispersed. Christians. Early Jewish Christians. James is not written to Christians. Oh, yes it is, Buckman. Christians are Gentiles. Called Christian personalia. And that the early church wasn't. The early church was all Jewish. Buckman. Bible genius. James isn't written to the Israel of God. Or a spiritual Jew. James was written to the 12 tribes of Israel. Yeah, and the first first uh, Christians were Jews. First Christians were Jews. He knows that. But he can't deal with the, uh, James chapter 2. So he's got to pretend the book of James is for Christians. James chapter 1, verse 1. Oh, he, see? And I told this to people, and people are like, oh, oh, oh he, he, that's not the reason. He starts with James. The same thing as like the book of Hebrews. starts with Hebrews. Yeah, the early church was with Hebrews. The early church was Jewish. James, a servant of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. The church began in Acts chapter 2 with Jews. It's to the 12 tribes. Yeah. 12 tribes who are Jewish. Who are part of the church now. Saved Jews. Who were part of the church which hadn't been revealed yet that they were part of the church. Acts chapter 2, where the church began, with Jews. Greetings. See, this is this is the type of simplistic, stupid teaching you get from Ruckman. He'll tell you, show you something like that, and act like, oh, we don't know about Acts chapter 2, and the second offer made the Jews, the first four or five chapters, up right up to chapter 7, where uh, uh, they kill Stephen. Or Jewish. Then they started, then God started going to the Gentiles. So why would you quote James 2? And say See, he's trying to defend the idea of eternal security, and people go to James 2 and say there's no uh, eternal security. But you don't handle that by taking the book of James out of the uh, a book written to Christians. That's not the way you handle that. You handle it by dealing with the word justification. And say the word justification is before men in, in James two, chapter 2, not before God. Or else it would contradict Paul. Because Paul says that Abraham wasn't justified by works. It's another thing Ruckman can't figure out. And uh, Hoffman, and uh, and uh, Breaker, and Sluder, and Kim. You see how a man is justified by works, not by faith only? Faith without works is dead. What are you doing over in James? See? That's before men. That's the same first John chapter 3. Your work's supposed to show your faith. It doesn't do your salvation. So he's going to take the book of James away from the Christians. What are you doing in the book of James? It's written to the Christians. That's why I'm doing the book of James. It's written to the first, it was first, first one of the first books written was the book of James. And to, written to the first early church, which was Jewish, and was being dispersed. The Jews are being dispersed out of Jerusalem. By, by the persecution. Because they, they were supposed to leave Jerusalem. They didn't leave. So God just sent a persecution in and, and spread them out. Are you one of the 12 tribes? See that? See that? Oh, that's deep. First church was. Er, the, who James was writing to at the beginning of the church was er, it was Jewish. They didn't know they were part of the church yet. Acts chapter 2. They didn't know. The poor showed it to them. But they were Jewish. Now, what did Paul say? Paul said he had people 
members of his, uh, members of his family who in the body of Christ before he was? Jewish. Brethren, that's how people get messed up with the scripture. No, people get messed up with scripture by listening to you and taking the book of Hebrews and James out of the Christian, uh, or written to Christians and trying to make it, oh, it's for the tribulation saints because it's a faith work system. Idiotic. As guys are Breaker teaching that, Sluder teaching that, Kim teaching that, Daniel teaching that. Taking the pastor out of context. No, we take the right context. You just can't read the word. You understand what justification is for men in James 2. Not before God. It's not dealing with salvation. It's dealing with the walk, the Christian walk. Yeah, not one layer in order to prove that a Christian can lose your son, can lose your salvation. You went to a fellow who wrote the 12 literal Jewish tribes. See, he thinks the he thinks Old Testament saints could lose their salvation. That's what Breaker teaches you. You all think he's a Bible scholar. He's a genius. Nobody loses their salvation. Any dispensation. Because based on the grace of God. God doesn't lose his sheep. Why'd you go there? Why'd he go there? Why'd they go there? Because the people figure can't they, they can't figure they can answer it. Well, you answer it as you look at the word justification. Can't contradict Paul. Abraham wasn't justified by works. In James, he is just justified by works. So clearly, the justification must have a different meaning. Why'd you go there? Which Schofield wrote about. This is a guy, when he first got saved, people, first thing he read was a Schofield Bible four times. He writes in his, in his biography. And then all of a sudden, he acts like he, he, he forgot all about it. Schofield had it right. Everything this guy had right is because he got it from Schofield or, or the early or the early teachers from dispensationals like that. Nothing this guy put out new has been correct. Not one thing. And you guys can, uh, all you Ruckman people can try to show me something that Ruckman came up with his own. On his own thinking that hasn't been taught before by other people who are correct. The only Ruckman is known for is defending the King James Bible, and he should be given credit for that, but that's it. Everything else he's fouled up on. Isn't because you're self-righteous and want your works to have a part in it? No. <laughs> you have a work system. You believe in Romans 10. Romans 10, 13. Romans 10, 9, 10. You don't have that trouble. You got heart trouble. No. You got brain trouble. You think the book of James, you say, oh, it's 12 tribes. Book of James is the first book written. The book of Hebrews of James, and they went into early churches or Jewish. Why wouldn't you go to Romans? The Romans were Gentiles. Are you a Gentile? Well, Romans can't contradict James. It doesn't matter. Paul is saying Abraham was, wasn't justified by works. James says he was justified by works. It doesn't matter which dispensation you're in. They have to be reconciled. He just thinks because, well, I'll put James in the uh, book of uh, the uh, Jewish dispensation. Uh, that, 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 that way you can ignore what Paul says. You are if you're not a Jew. Hoffman does that. Hoffman does that. After telling you justification for a man and justification from God, then he just goes, well, it depends what dispensation we're looking at. Idiotic. Paul and James have to be reconciled. Why would you go to the apostle of the Gentiles? Paul was the apostle of Gentiles. Simon Peter wasn't. Paul was. So what? They don't contradict each other. He's worth that. Romans 15. You how do you know? You don't know. I know in Romans. Romans 16. Paul says his his family, people in his family were in, in, in Christ before he was. They were Jews. And you can't know. As long as you're lazy and wicked and stupid, you can never know anything. Yeah. That's what you were. Lazy, wicked, and stupid. By telling people the book of James is not written to Christians. Just give up. Everybody who follows you is lazy, wicked, and stupid. Anybody who tells you the book of James isn't written to the church is lazy, wicked, and stupid. Sluder, Kim, Breaker, Brian Denninger, Hoffman. If you're not going to get in that book and deal with God sincerely trying to find the truth. Yeah, we did find the truth. You got his wife from Schofield notes back in 1913. Truth. And search for absolute truth, you're never going to know nothing. 
Well, you did. All you did was lie and say James is written to the Jews and the Jews could lose their salvation. So I'm going to stop and put this up. And uh, that's, that's, that's Ruckman. We're going to do more dispensationalism in some later videos talking about how fouled up he is. He is taking dispensationalism in the wrong direction. The book of James, the book of Hebrews, is written to early church who were Jewish. And they don't contradict anything Paul says. They complement it. And he wants to call people lazy, stupid, wicked. Well, everybody tells you the book of James is written, not written to the church. Because he's written to the tribulational saints because he thinks he can lose their salvation. You can't lose your salvation in the tribulation. Let's stop and put this up. Amen. Thank you.